Welcome to Live Doff, your online Doff Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem, welcome back to today's Daf Hayami Gitin Dalad. We are holding on line 12 from the top of the Amit. So as we know, a shliach who brings a get from Medina Sayam, from abroad, from outside Eretz Yisrael. When he delivers that get, he must declare, B'fanai nechtav, u'b'fanai nechtam, this get was written and signed in my presence. Why does he say that? We have two reasons. Rabba says, well, the concern is lishma. Perhaps those in Chutzla are not informed and not knowledgeable about all the uh, nitty gritty of Hilchais Gitten, including the halacha that I get must be written with the intent to use it for this specific woman because of Loh Lishma. Therefore, we require that the Shliach comes and tells us about it. It was written properly, it was signed properly. Rava takes on a different approach. The concern is that perhaps down the road the husband might challenge the validity of the get and claim that it was he was set up. It was just a forged get. Those signatures are not genuine. The whole thing was just made up and therefore when the Shliach comes he must say, he must testify and certify that in fact this star was signed and written properly and that confirms the validity of the get that the signatures are indeed genuine and this acts as sort of a certification to the get and preempts any further uh, challenges as per the kashras of the get so Rabba's concern is lishma and Rava is concerned about the fact that perhaps, uh, being that it's being brought from out of town to Eretz Yisrael, there isn't much traveling back and forth. And down the road, who's going to be able to certify uh, these signatures? When we need uh, verification, are these signatures indeed um, genuine and real, signed by those people with these names? So if you're an your hometown, you can find people that recognize you on your signatures and your handwriting, but if you're out of town, especially if it's a place like far away where there were no shayores, uh, mitzuyas, very little, you know, traveling caravans going back and forth, such as from Chutzlart to Eretz Yisrael, there's a heightened concern that perhaps you'll, you won't have access to anybody that can go and certify these chasimahs that recognizes these men's signatures, and therefore we have to do that certification right now as the get is being delivered. Says the Gemara, Tanan. Let's go back to the Mishnah for a moment. We have several opinions. We have Tanakama who says, well, you bring a get from Medina Sayam, far away, to Eretz Yisrael, you must say Bifani Nechta, Bifani Nechta. Which um, seems to indicate that it only applies to areas situated at a distance from Eretz Yisrael, where, you know, they don't, they don't have the uh, Lishma knowledge, they're detached, they're disconnected from the civilization in Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Gamliel adds to that, Tanan, Rabbi Gamliel, Eimer, Afa, Mevi, Mena, Reke, Mena, Cheger. This halacha applies even when a get is delivered from close by areas which are next to Eretz Yisrael. They're right outside, but they're close enough. Reke, Mena, Cheger. Even there. We apply this halach. They are treated like chutzalarets. Rabbi Lezer takes it a step further. Rabbi Lezer, Oymer afilu mi kfar ludim. You deliver a get from kfar ludim, which was situated right, out to, right outside the Eretz Yisrael proper. Lelud, you bring it to Lud, which is right next door in Eretz Yisrael. And Abaye came and explained. Vamar Abaye, Bayoro is ha-smucho is Eretz Yisrael. Rabbanam Leel's towns. Rekim and Cheger are right near Eretz Yisrael. Umuvlo is betchum Eretz Yisrael askidan. And furthermore, Rabbi Lezer's town, Kfar Ludim, is muvla, is sort of enveloped and surrounded by Eretz Yisrael territory, or, although it's technically not inside, it's outside. So you sort of have a, okay, you going around it from Eretz Yisrael territory, and it's right inside that you. 
and still we treat it like chutzal arts. Vama Rabba Barachana, he tells us the didi. Chazili, who asked, I actually took notice of that town, Kfar Ludim. Avave and the distance between Kfar Ludim and Lud was so close, can be Beikubi, like from Beikubi Lupu Medisa, very short distance. Bottom line, it's enveloped in Eretz Yisrael, it's close by. And still, you have to say, Befani Nechta, Befani Nechta. So we have three sheeters. Tanakama says, No, no, no. Only those situated far away. Rabbi Gamliel says, even the ones close by. Rabbi Eliezer says, even the ones that are surrounded by its Israel territory. You need to say, Befani Nechta, Befani Nechta, upon delivering a get from that area to Eretz Yisrael. Michlal, this indicates to us. Did Tanakama suffer? Lani Lloyd Sarah. Tanakama disagrees. These towns don't require. Why? My love, Bokem Ifligir appears. At this dispute, this Machlik is Tanoim, revolves around our discussion as to the basis, as to the reason for Befonai Nechtav to begin with. The Mara Savar Lavish ain't became the Shema. Tanakama holds. Well, the whole point is because we're concerned that they're probably not knowledgeable, they're probably not uh, bulky in the aloha of Lishma. And therefore, it, it only applies to those that are really far away. Vahani Gmiri, but the uh, towns over here, Rekem, Cheger, etc., they're close by, you know. They, they glean from the Residents of Eretz Yisrael, it, it trickles down, it spills over to them. They're knowledgeable, they're bnei Torah, and therefore there's no takana there. Umar savar. Whereas, uh, let's say Rambam Gamliel, he holds levisha ein edem matzurin lekaimai. That the the concern is that we're not going to have Edim down the road to be Mekayim, to certify the Chasimus of the, of the Get. V'hani nami le'ishchichi. And even with respect to Rekim Becheger, right, despite the fact that they're so close by, but, you know, it's over the border, you need a passport to get there, and uh, there is uh, very little traveling, and that poses a concern about not having access to you know, uh, verification down the road. And the same can be said about Rebbe Lezer regarding Kfar Ludim Lulud. So that's what the Gemara is suggesting now. This Machlegis in the Mishnah corresponds to the Machlegis between Rabbi and Rava as to the reason for the Takana to begin with. Says the Gemara, no, you don't have to go that, that route. Look, Rabbi Mataris Latamei, Rabbi will interpret the Machlegis Tanoim based on his approach. But Rabbi Mataris Latamei, and likewise, Rabbi will interpret based on his approach. Rabba Mataras Latame. Rabba will explain the Machlekes Tanoim based on the idea of Lishma. The Kuli Al Mole Feshe and Bikin Lishma. Everybody's concerned about the Lishma issue. Vacha Baka Mithigan Machlekes Tanoim is as follows. Tanakama Sava Tanakama holds Hani Kivan de Smucha is Migmag Miri. All these towns, on account of their close proximity to Israel, they know the Allah of Lishma. We don't have the Takana Abifane Nechtav. Vah, so Rabba Gamliel and Meva. Ramliel disagrees on one count. He says, Mubla is. Gemiri, smuchas like Gemiri, between Ludim and Lud, no concern there because it's Muvla. It's sort of enveloped and surrounded with Eretz Yisrael territory. There's, they're they're incorporated in it, Eretz Yisrael with respect to the halacha of the Shema. Don't worry about them. They know the Shema. Smuchas like Gemiri, but a town which is just close to Eretz Yisrael, not enveloped in Eretz Yisrael, on account of their closeness, it doesn't really change the, uh, despite the fact that there is Samuch, we still have that concern about Lishma, and therefore, you know, we don't assume that they're gemiri, that they're uh, learned, and therefore, we apply the takana. He comes and he adds, Muvlois nami loy. He says, you know what? Even, even uh, not only the ones that are close by, even the ones that are muvla, like Faruludim Lulud, they also are not considered any different than the rest of Chutz Lords. We don't want to create delineations and dissections. We don't want to split Medina Sayyam into sections 
lest it create confusion. So according to Rabbah, everybody's on the Lishma track. Depends. It's just, it's just a question of where to apply it. Tanakama says, only those far away. Ram Gamliel says, even the ones close by. Rabbi Leza says, even the one that are Muvla. Rabbi Mataras Tamei, Rabbi will take his approach and apply it to the Tanaim. The Kuliyam, Lefeshein, Edim, Tum, Lekaim, everybody's concerned about the Kim of the Shtar. That is the reason for Bifanei Nechta. And we have three approaches. Tanakama Sovar, Hani Kivin the Smuchais, Mishchach Shrechi. Tanakama holds. You only say Bifanei Nechta when it's coming from far away, but when it's close by, even though it's right outside the border, it's technically Chutzlar, it's Mishchach Shrechi, there are still enough travelers in the area to provide certification for the, the get. Well, it depends. Mubloys, Shrikh, the ones that are surrounded with Eretz Yisrael territory, yeah. It's common to have uh, travelers going back and forth, no concern there. Smuchach, but Rek and Becheger, which are simply just, you know, close by, but not enveloped. We don't assume there's enough uh, traveling and the concern still applies. Vasar Blazer he takes it a step further. We apply the Takana to the entire Chutzlarts without exception. Mavloi is not Miloi, Shloi Tachloi, Dinasim. So, the bottom line is whether you go with Rabba, that the concern is Lashma, or Rabba, that the concern is Eidim between Lekaimoi, we have a three way Machlek, as Tanakama says. It only applies to areas at a distance from Eretz Yisrael, but not the ones that are close by, and certainly not the ones that are enveloped in Eretz Yisrael. Ramalil says enveloped is not an issue, but close by is still an issue. Rabbeleza says, well, in all situations, we apply the halacha shleit tachleik b'mdin esayim. Tanan, let's take a, a a step down to the bottom of the Mishnah, and we're going to see whether, once again, it depends on Rabbah and Rabbah. The Chacham, I mean, Chacham continue and say, and say, "Ein itzorech sheyoyimar b'fanei nechta, b'fanei nechta." There's no need to recite this thing, Ella, unless. You are one that is being maybe ha maybe mimdina sayam bringing from outside Eretz Yisrael v'hamoylech or delivering to chutzlords taking a get from here from Eretz Yisrael and bringing it to chutzlords. It sounds like the chachamim are adding something. Miklal the Tanakama sovereign moylech leitzorach it clearly indicates to us that the Tanakama disagrees. Apparently, Tanakama holds there's no need to say b'fanei nechta when delivering a get from here to there from Eretz Yisrael to chutzlords. Perhaps let's suggest that the machlek is between these two shittas are indeed dependent on those two reasons. The mar savar v'shein b'kein l'shma Tanakama holds. The concern is l'shma v'hanig miri. Well, you bring a get from here and here everybody's learned it. Umar savar v'shein edem tzum l'kaima Chacham go with the other approach. The concern is kiyom hashtar v'haninam l'shchichi and likewise, in this case, when you're taking from Eretz Yisrael to Chutz Eretz, well, uh, those that live in Eretz Yisrael are not, uh, you know, are not uh, commonly found in Chutz Eretz. And therefore, there's a concern that you might have an issue with certifying the get down the road. So bottom line, Tanakama and the Chachamim are arguing about these reasons. It revolves around the Rabbins, Rabbins, Machlekes, which is difficult to assume that the Machlekes Tanaim matches the Machlekes Amaraim. It says the Gemara, no. Same as before. Rabba Metaris Tatame. Varava Metaris Tatame. Rabba and Rabba can both interpret the entire Mishnah based on their approach. Rabba Metaris Litame. Rabba will explain in light of his approach. Dekuli Amul of Fashain Bikin Lishma. Everybody's concerned about Lishma. And over here, Bikzeras. The question is do we make a Gzeira? Do Chacham decree? Maybe. Come if look at that's the machlekes. We know that maybe from Medina Sayyam requires. What about maybe? Moilach. Do we say, well, you know, we don't want to differentiate between the two, lest it create confusion and misunderstanding. And therefore we'll require even by a get that's being taken from Eretz to Chut Lords. Do we say that or not? Tanakama Sava Tanakama holds Loy Garzrina and Melechatu maybe. We don't apply this Takana. When you bring, yes, but when you bring from, when you take from Eretz to Chutzar, it's no concern. Because they know about Lishma. Varabana Basroi Sabri, but the later Shita holds 
Gazrin and Melech to maybe just like when you deliver from Chutzlaret, you are maybe from Chutzlaret, you must say before Nechtav. We don't want to differentiate, and we say that even when you deliver from here to there, Melech from Yisrael to Chutzlaret, we apply the Takana as well. And Rava will interpret the Machlekes based on his approach. Where everybody agrees, the Kuli Amal Vishayin Edim Tsun Lekaim, the concern is Ki Mashtar. In which case, it doesn't really matter whether you're bringing from here to there or here, there to here. Whether you're bringing from Chutzlar to Yisrael or vice versa. Two separate countries, two separate territories, you'll have a hard time finding those that can certify the Shtar. So according to all shittas, whether it's maybe or moilech, the takana applies. But Rabbanu Basroi, lefrushi, taimi, the tanakam, who the asu, the chachamim, in the latter part of the Mishnah, just trying, trying to explain and elaborate on the tanakama's halacha. Lest you think that the tanakama limited the halacha to maybe get from Medina Siyam, come the chacham and explain. No, no, no. It applies both ways. Because Ain Aidam Matsuim in the Kaiman. Continues the Gemara. It's not, the Mishnah continues further. And this is going to be a Kasha on Rabba. Rabba is the one who says the concern is Lashma. Tanana, maybe get Mimdina Limdina. Mimdina Bim Medina Sayyam, if one delivers from one state to the other, and they're both in Medina Sayyam, Sarah Lai Mabra Fan Nechta Pani Nechta. Okay, so the Takana applies. Let's make it Diak. It's only from state to state. Apparently, if it's a local delivery in the same province of Medina Sayyam, there's no Takana there. That works according to Rav because it's, it's local. And the uh, signatures can easily be verified by people who are familiar with their handwriting. Rav, it makes sense. But Rav, whose concern is Lishma, well, if it's in Chutzlar, it's... What difference does it make if it's a long distance delivery or local delivery? Kashi, why would you not have the takana? They're not baki in lishma. Says the Gemara loy teimah ha ba'isa medina be medina sayam like tzarech. Instead of making that diuk, which was well, the Mishnah speaks about from state to state needs. Apparently, if it's within the same state, it doesn't need, and that would be a kashi. Rabba, don't go with that diuk. Ela rather make the following diuk, which will be consistent with Rabba. The Mishnah says. Medina to Medina, in Chutz Loretz, you need to say. The deek will be, well, from state to state, in Eretz Yisrael you don't need. And that makes sense according to Rabbi, because it's in Eretz Yisrael, there are Bakin Lashma. Well, ha, this type of halacha, behedik tanula, the Mishnah clearly articulated this halacha later on. There's no need to make a diuk. From an early halacha, the Mishnah says, you bring in Eretz Yisrael, you're a potter, I maybe get Eretz Yisrael. Why would the Mishnah have to repeat itself? There is a reason, says the Gemara. There is a need for repetition. Because if it only from that first diuk that we met said before, which gave us that implication, that diuk, that if it's Medina, Medina, it's Israel, you don't need to say, I would, I would think, the Mishnah just means, you know, if you skipped it, if you didn't say it, you're still safe. But perhaps... You uh, shouldn't go ahead and do this l'chatchila. Right? Because, you know, when you're about to uh, get involved in the get, you should do things properly. Even though you're, you're an Eretz Yisrael, but you bring it from state to state, l'chatchila, you should be there, observe the ksiva, make sure it's done properly. That's what I would think. You know, so we shouldn't be taking any chances with l'shma. Kamash malon comes the Mishnah again and tells us the same halacha. Clearly articulates the halacha that one is maybe get the Be'eretz Yisrael. There is never a need to, to say b'fanei nechta, b'fanei nechta. So we thought we had a kasha on Rabba and we answered it. V'ika the Moisev lachi. Others actually presented this portion of the Mishnah as a kasha instead of a kasha on Rabba it was going to be a kasha on Rava who says the concern is certification and verification of the chasimus on the shtar. So once again, we're focusing on the part of the Mishnah which says, Ha-mevi get mimedina le-medina. Bimedina sayam. 
you bring from province to province. Let's make it deep. Apparently, if it's from state to state in Eretz Yisrael, no issue. So the Rabba it works very well, Nicha, because there's no issue of Lishma. The Rabba Kasha, according to him, it's still a Kasha because even though it's Eretz Yisrael, but it's from Medina to Medina, and we're assuming that uh, you know there are little, a few, few travelers going from you know state to state in Eretz Yisrael, and therefore there's a concern about Edim between Lakaimai. So why is there no takana of a funny nechta? Says the Gemara, Loi Tema, don't make this diuk. That me medina lo medina eretz yisrael lo tzarech. No, no, don't, don't go with that route. Ela ema, rather your diuk should be like this. The Mishnah says, if you're in chutz l'aretz and you're delivering from medina lo medina, you have to say, and the diuk will be ela ema haba oisa medina but medina same lo tzarech. But if you're in chutz l'aretz but delivering locally within the same state, then you don't need to say, because according to Rav, the issue is Edom. Accessibility to Ed, the Edom. Well, if you're local, the Edom are accessible. And that works according to Rav. Says the Gemara, Avo memdina lemdina et Yisrael. But what are you telling me? That if it's from state to state, even though it's not Yisrael, my, what's the Allah You need to say, because the issue is the Edom between the Kaimai. If that were so, then the Mishnah should say like this, Listening, ha maybe mi medina le medina stop. Why wouldn't the mission just state it unequivocally? You know, you're delivering from state to state. You have to say, and this way you'll cover all bases, whether it's in chutzlarts or it's in shrub. Because according to Rava, there's no difference if it's from medina le medina. Uh, there are no travelers. You have an issue of the chasimus uh, of the star. So why would the Mishnah specify Medina al-Medina in Chutzlarts? Instead of just stating it as a general halacha, Medina al-Medina anywhere. You need to have B'fanei Nechta, B'fanei Nechta, I'm stated. Says the Gemara, you're right. min Medina al-Medina, where it's Yisrael, Even according to Rava, if you're delivering, in Eretz Yisrael, even though it's Medina al-Medina, there's no issue there. You know why? Eretz Yisrael is unique. Because there are many travelers. The key one, the Ika Eilere Golem, since Klai Yisrael comes up, Laregel, very often, uh, travelers and people that can you know, offer their testimony. If you have a question on a star, right? There are people from the entire world coming there. Mishkach Shrichi. So uh, the, the Israelim are, are there, are to be found in Eretz Yisrael. Even the foreigners are to be found there. Certainly, uh, uh, local people, right? So, because of the um, back and forth of the Euler Regalim, it would be quite easy down the road to certify a star in Eretz Yisrael. And therefore, we say that even according to Rava, when a get is delivered from state to state in Eretz Yisrael, because of the Euler Regalim factor, there's no concern and there's no need to make that the Fane Nechtav or the Fane Nechtam declaration. So only when it's Medina Medina, Medina Medina Sayyam, you have to. But not in Eretz Yisrael. Asks the Gemara, okay, that works when we had the Beis Amigdash. Ten Nach, Bazman Shabbat Samigdash Kayim. That works when we had the Beis Amigdash standing. So there was a lot of movement in Eretz Yisrael. Bazman Shabbat Beis Amigdash Kayim, I can remember after the Beis Amigdash was destroyed. We don't have that factor. So what do we do then? We still have something. Kivan the Ika Batidin in the Kvi, since we have the the Batidinim, which were established, uh, Rashi brings it to Takanas Ezra, that on Mondays and Thursdays we have the Bezdin in session throughout the cities. When everybody's traveling to and from the Bezdins, Mishka Shrichi, people are all over the place, and you can find people who come and verify and certify the Chasimas. Okay, so we thought we had a Kasha on. Rava, and we answered the kasha. And we did come up with a big chiddush that even according to Rava, who's typically concerned about not finding Eden to be Mekayim Ashtar, but if it's in Eretz Yisrael, even if it's from town to town, from city to city, Medina to Medina, no concern because of the other regalim or the Bali Dinin, traveling to and from the Bati Dinin. Tanan, let's proceed further in the mission. Rabba Nashim Gamlilaimer, I feel a megmoini or legmoini. It takes it a step further. Even if you deliver a get from one side of the city to the other, 
from East Berlin to West Berlin in the olden days. From one Hegmoin, a governor. Like from one jurisdiction to the other, even if it's in the same city. But if they're a makbid on each other, you need a visa to get from one side to the other. You can have a hard time verifying signatures which were signed on the other side of the wall. Vam Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak elaborated on this, he gave us a, an example. Ir Achis Hoyseb Eitz Yisrael, there was a city in Eretz Yisrael that had this phenomenon. Vasasya Shema, was called Asasyas. Vayu Abezik Moines. Shayim Akpid and Zalzeh. And this city featured two governors who were very particular. Didn't allow travel to the other side. The Fichach, on account of this type of situation, Hutzur Cholayma, we needed to say that Megmoine Legmoinia. He used to say, Befane Nechtav, and Befane Nechtav. Okay, says the Gemara. Le Rava Nicha, this works according to Rava. Right, the concern is, Hashayores, uh, Metsuyes, travelers, need to be coming back and forth, which you don't have here, and therefore you have to say, Befane Nechtav, to certify the star as it's delivered. But Le Rava, Kash, according to Rava, the issue is Lishma, who cares if you can travel or not? It's an Eretz Yisrael, there's no issue of Lishma. Answers the Gemara, something which revolutionizes the whole sugya. Rabba is like the Rabba. The truth is that although Rabba was very concerned about the Lishma issue, but in fact he agrees with Rabba's concern as well. Uh, that one of the reasons why we say B'fanei Nechtev is concerned that lest we, lest, uh, we be left without any ability to verify the Chasimais. And as such, when I get it delivered from Egmonia to Egmonia, even though it's in Eretz Yisrael, there's no issue of Lishma, but you always have the other issue of the Edim Mitzurim Lekaimai. Having Edim certify the uh, signatures. Says the Gemara, okay. So if Rav agrees to Rav, Elamai Benayu. So then, is there any differences between the two Shites? If uh, he agrees with Rav, then says the Gemara, we have two differences. You see, back on Nafbeis and Mabbeis, the Gemara provided three Nafkeminis. In each one of those three cases, we will have a difference between Rabba and Rabba. Rabba yes, Rabba no, or the opposite. Now we sort of lost one. Why? Because one of the three cases that we discussed was delivering a get in Eretz Yisrael, mi Medina la Medina, from city to city from state to state, right? Well now, it turns out, there is no nafkimina. Both Rab and Rabba on full agreement as to what we're meant to do in this type of situation. You see, if there are makbid, these two territories in Eretz Yisrael are sort of separate jurisdictions, where travel between them is difficult, suppose that w- that's what we're speaking about, then all agree that the Takana B'fanei Nechtav applies because we're lacking access. Everybody agrees. Now, if it's just, you know, a standard situation, there's no Hakpada between the two areas, there's easy travel, no no restrictions, then once again, everybody agrees that there's no B'fanei Nechtav necessary in this case because A, they know Lishma, it's United strong. B, there are people traveling. So either way, this type of situation would never pose a Nafkimina. Rather, we have the other two. Suppose the get was delivered by two shluchim. So they're coming from Chutz Laretz, both holding the get. According to Rabba, you still have to say because those in Chutz Laretz that wrote the get perhaps are not knowledgeable. Whereas according to Rabba, the concern is verification of signatures. Well, you have two Adim here to verify. You don't have to say Bifani Nechta. Inami, alternatively, delivering a get locally in the same province, but it's outside of Yisrael. See here, once again, Rabba requires because it's in, it's in Chutz Laaretz. And Rabba does not require because it's local. And the Edom are uh, accessible. Edom Matsuin Lekaima. You can easily verify and certify the Chasimis. Okay, so what did we learn today? We went through the Mishnah step by step. And we explained it based on the shittahs of Rabbah and Rabbah. We had the Tanakama, who says, well, only in Chutzlar, it's only in Medina Sayyam, far away. Do you have to say B'fanei Nechtav? 
Rav Gamliel says even cities close by who deliver Teretz Yisrael. Rav Gamliel says even those cities that are involved in Teretz Yisrael territory. And the Chachamim say, well, even Moilich delivering from Teretz Yisrael to Chutzlaretz. And then we have Shun Gamliel who says, well, even make money like money, two jurisdictions within the same city. So the Gemara explained all the halachis and all the shitas according to Rabba and according to Rabba. Well, for starters, we had the Tanakama, Ramlil and Rabbi So Rabbi says, well, everybody works with Lishma. The question is to what extent? Tanakama says, only those far away are concerned about Lishma. Rabbi says, even the ones close to Israel perhaps are not uh, knowledgeable. Rabbi says, even the one enveloped in Israel. Why? We don't want to be Mechalik. We want to treat the entire Chutzlars as one single entity. And Rava applies the same rationale to the Svar of Metsuyim Lekaimai. Regarding Moilech, well, the Gemara says, according to uh, Rava, that the issue is Lashma. The only reason why Moilech would need is because it's a Gzeira, Moilech or Tumev. According to Rava, Tanakam and the Chacham both agree that Moilech and Mevi require because you're going from one country to the other is the issue of Edem Metsuyim Lekaimai. The Gemara came up with a Chiddush, that even according to Rava, when you're in Eretz Yisrael, there are many travelers, and that preempts any concerns about Ki Mashtar. And we had the Chiddush that from Hegmonia to Hegmonia, we have the same of Echtav, Fanein Echtav, and that prompted us to switch around the whole configuration that in fact Rava agrees with Rava. But even when there's no Lishma concern, such as in Eretz Yisrael, but if there is a, an area which is uh, restricted in, the, uh, in, in its travel, we would have to say Fanein Echtav, so bottom line is, there are two cases where there would be enough community between Rabba and Rava. In both cases, we're speaking about Chutz Laaretz, and therefore, according to Rabba, Lushma issue requires same Farin Nechtav, according to Rava, you don't need to do so because it's close enough. Or there are two Aiden bringing it, which preempts any concerns about the validity of the Shtar. All the best to you and Hatzlacha Rabba.